Welcome to another video by Gamers Essentials. The best tips, tricks, guides, and more right at your fingertips. Hello YouTube! Today we're going to be talking about a few ways to help increase your frames per second and decrease your input lag. So, as we've all seen lately, 20-man rating can be very taxing on your system. However, all is not lost. I spent some time looking into some tips and tricks for improving performance in raids. As we all know, WoW is a very CPU-intensive game. Upgrading RAM and your GPU will only yield negligible improvements for you if you're trying to run it on a terrible CPU. Overclocking may seem like an awesome idea, but the decreased lifespan of your components and potential heat and cooling issues aren't worth it for those extra, maybe two or three frames per second. So first things first, you need to know your connection. Simply put, your connection, if it's shit, you need to get your provider to fix it. If your internet connection is constantly disconnecting you, you're not going to be in the raid to be helpful to begin with, so... Why even try? So make sure that you're not having issues with your internet connection. If you're getting constantly dc there are a few things that you can look at. If you hit escape while you're in game and you go to your system settings, there are default settings set up in network, the optimized network for speed. Now enabling this option to optimize network usage for speed in order to decrease lag, only issue with that is it seems to increase lag and it decreases your frames per second and it can also cause numerous disconnection issues so make sure that this is unchecked now for your voice the in-game voice <sighs> blizzard they, they really tried they tried I, I I'll give them this but the service sucks so don't ever have it enabled your sound settings if you can turn off your music and your ambient sounds and have just the sound effects. You could probably turn off dialogue settings too if you needed. Um, also you want to make sure that you have your sound channels at 64 so you won't miss out on any of the sounds. Language, you know, text and audio, however you need that. Your advanced settings. Now if you're having issues, changing between DirectX 9 and DirectX 11, 11 can help. Also make sure that you have the max foreground FPS and the max background FPS unchecked. Because if you have this checked and it's sitting at 30 at you know 30 frames or 35 frames per second, you're not going to get any higher than 35 frames per second no matter what. So always make sure that those two are unchecked. You see how just unchecking that my frame rate went from 19 back up to 43. Now, as far as the new character models go, that's really up to you, uh, but as you can see, I'm running at 45 frames per second right now. Um, going ahead and unchecking that really doesn't give you much of a performance or a a uh, FPS increase. So, graphic settings. Enable raid and battleground settings, and in your battleground and raid settings, they will default to good even if or let me rephrase that they will default to the highest settings that your video card and system can run so like for me mine normally jump up to ultra so set them down in low because there's no use in trying to raid in ultra if it looks like you're doing a slideshow if you're going step, 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 stuttering, 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 and you're not doing anything, you're not helping out your raid team. So, turn everything down to low. Texture resolution, low. Texture filtering, by linear. Make sure that your projected textures are disabled. Your view, view distance is set to... Check, check. Your view distance is set to low. Your environmental details are low. Your ground clutter is low. Shadow quality, low. Liquid details, low. Um, you want to have all of these things set to low or disabled. The SSAO, you don't need it. Disable it. Depth effects, once again, don't need it. Disable it. Lighting quality, don't need it. Disable it. Outline mode, now that's up to you. I like to have it allowed, but 
once again, up to you. You can have it disabled as well. Anti-aliasing, you want to have it at none. Monitor, you know, that's if you have multiple monitors, vertical sync, disabled. So those right there, those will help with the increase. Now, a few other things. Um, if, you, if you're if you into add-ons and things of that nature, you need to make sure that you're using the add-ons that are not overly memory intensive. You know, that they're not causing you huge issues with your memory usage. Like you can see here, tidy plates using 3 megs. Overachiever using 1.7 megs. TomTom -tom using 1.6 megs. So I mean things like that, those are not things that you're wanting to have enabled during your raid. You want to make sure that you're having whatever you absolutely need for the raid, have it enabled. If you don't need it for the raid, disable it. You know, you have a little in-game menu right there, you have your add-ons, and you can run right through and uncheck whatever you need during raid times and then hit OK. And it'll do a reload for you, if you need it. So one thing you want to look into is removing your in-game combat log. So you're going to go to your combat log, you're going to right-click it, you're going to go to settings. You want to make sure that everything is unchecked and all of the other channels, the global channels, the chat channels, all of that needs to be unchecked. You're going to be looking at your combat log itself. And what you need to do is you need to basically remove it so that you're not you're you cannot see the combat log unless you're actively sitting and watching the combat log all the time you're not going to be able to see any of this information and if you're using something like SCADA that reviews the combat log unfiltered all we're doing here is we're adding the filtering in by not seeing anything so we're removing my actions and what happens to me we're removing everything. We don't want to see it. We want to make sure that everything is unchecked on both the my actions and what happened to me. Make sure everything is unchecked. And then you're going to hit OK. And nothing should appear in this window. But once again, like I said, if you're using something for your DPS, don't use recount. Recount is so memory intensive, it's not even funny. Use something like details or scatter. And I'll put the links to that down in the video below. A lot of people use DBM, Deadly Boss Mobs. Now, Deadly Boss Mobs is nice. There is a really good add-on called Big Wigs that does relatively the same exact things that Deadly Boss Mobs does, but it doesn't use as much of your CPU. Now, there is a wonderful program that has been brought to us by the wonderful people over at Razer. And you can go through and you can see it's called Razer Gang Booster. Now, these are the same people that brought you the Razer Naga and loads of other top range gaming hardware. Now, it manages all of your games and optimizes your system to run them. So, from this program, you can check the drivers are all up to date, you can defrag the game files, and you can launch them directly from it. And it will also shut down background processes to free up your CPU to focus on the game. Now, in here, I'll also put a download link for this Razer Game Booster. I'll put a link to the Razer Game Booster below as well. So, as you can see here, we have our boost. And you can go through and you can actually shut down things that you don't want to be running while you have while running. You can have a diagnose, diagnostic section and you have your tweak section and you have defrag and you also have your FPS. Now you can view it on screen if you'd like if you're running in full windows mode. If you're running in windowed mode like I'd run it you're not going to be able to actually see the FPS because it won't display it won't display the overlay. You also want to make sure that you update your sound and your video card drivers. Now Game Booster can do this for you. And also your Windows updates. If you're running Windows 7, 8, 10, whatever you happen to be running, or if you're running Mac, make sure that your computer is up to date on all of your operating systems 
updates and you also need to make sure you clean your computer now this may sound odd regular computer case cleaning helps to prevent hot computers which tends to slow your computer so make sure that there's no dust on your cards never use a vacuum or, a hu or anything like that you use a can of compressed air with heating issues never take the side panel off of your case it doesn't cool down the PC in fact it screws up the airflow often leading to warmer components this may sound stupid, but like I said earlier, lower your graphics. Stop trying to raid and ultra it if your computer can't handle it. Close down Skype and other non-essential programs. If your raid team needs a chat program, use something like Raid Call, which is one of the lowest CPU usage voice chat programs out there. So I hope this helps. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please remember to thumbs up and subscribe. Game over.